there's a puppy dog we're in the backyard now this will be my next one I'm gonna do just raked around here to shape it out again head shapes here earlier and this is leaves left over from the fall I'm gonna put the stone around here if you look here you can see stone I did a year and a half ago quite a bit of stone has already been laid but I want to put some around here and here and that tree and more around the playground here but not too close although the kids don't play there that tree here and back there and there interestingly I did this tree last year and it's dead so that might be another video cutting this tree down I don't know what I'm gonna do there but you can see all the other stone it's been done already I think it looks really nice um, and it holds all this mulch in here and uh, I'll also be putting some like around here and on the other end over there <clears throat> gotta make sure that I leave enough gap here so my zero turn can drive through there and uh, then I'll kill off the, the grass that's close to the stone with Roundup or some kind of grass and weed killer. Anyway, that's the next one right there. All right, let's start putting some stone in. I finished it. Puppy dog has been sitting here watching me, but you can see I've made it all the way around. Sure does make a pretty shape here. Let's get a whole picture of everything. And uh, the next phase will be to just rake the, the mulch that's in there up against the rocks. Make it look pretty. And then, once we're done with that, we go to the next one. So, got these rocks laid out. Interestingly enough, I didn't have enough rocks back there, so I had to steal for rocks that were already placed over here and moved them over here and finished off this bottom corner here. You need about six or seven additional rocks, which basically depleted everything that was here. But I've got rocks here and I'll be starting on that next. Take a quick water break. All right, we're gonna put some rocks in. That one's done. Now let's do this one. Once it's done, now we're gonna do this one. This will be fun. All right, this one's done. back here behind the cameras. I'm going to work on those probably tomorrow. I'll send you this. Fill in around this one here. So I'm not for now. All right. Quick landscape rock update. Finish this tree. Ta-da. Went pretty quick. I didn't get too, too crazy with the fitting. And then I got this one. Hopefully there's enough gap between that and that to allow the lawnmower to get through. Although there's not much grass here right now. I'm gonna take these tools back. I got a tree back over here. And I've got that whole border up there all around the play set here that needs to be done. But I need to break more rocks because I'm out of rocks. Sign off for now. What do you think, Papa Doke? He's hot. All right, still working on the stone here. And uh, I've got it placed around 
here. These have already been set. And then I just put some stone here. I'm gonna put a feature in here, it looks like. I need about seven or eight, maybe nine more stones here. We'll finish this feature out and then uh, we'll see how that takes my pile down. But backyard's looking pretty good. A lot of features. I think I've got a spot back there. I've got to finish off a few back there. Well, it's March 15th, 2020. And this is what the ryegrass looks like. The uh, ryegrass was planted last fall. And I've cut it probably three or four times. And it's just growing like crazy. Keeping the yard green, but you can see what it does to the backyard. It just looks awesome back here. You can see where pup dog's been uh, fertilizing a couple spots out here. But <laughs> it has filled in and hopefully insulated the ground for the St. Augustine. Augustine. And uh, you can see where some of my seed got a little bit into the landscape structures. But that's okay. Ryegrass is not permanent and will die back when it gets hot out here. See some of the uh, red buds are blooming and a lot of the trees are starting to, to bud out here in Texas which is nice. It's nice and cool out here probably in the low to mid 50s and uh, it's been raining a lot but uh, this will allow me to get out here and finish my landscape project you can see here I've got the stone installed here I need to kind of trench this out a little bit trench that out with a hoe and then place the stone in there a little bit or more organized than it is oh I see I have some crabgrass in here that's not ryegrass I'll have to pluck that out or give it some roundup shot a roundup but Looking nice spring, fun time of year here in Texas. Nice and cool. And starting to, to green up. It's also the day I'm going to put up some hummingbird feeders because they should be coming through here now or in the next few days. Signing off for now on the ryegrass update. March 15th, 2020. Hey, Papa Dog. Come. Come. Here he comes. That's a puppet dog. Hey there. It's a nice day. It's April 16, 2020 during the, the COVID pandemic. I've got my COVID grunge going. Got the puppy dog out here with his cone of shame. And uh, today I'm gonna try to put in the stone here. I've got this stone in here, but I've got to place this other stone in a better spot. So I've got a a hoe to help kind of soften up the soil. I've got this nice little tool that I found several years ago. It's good for getting into the dirt and digging things out. And then I've got my claw that can churn up the soil and I can move that around. Of course I've got my gloves and we'll be doing that. And I've got Mr. Puppet Dog here. He'll be supervising. So just to save a little time, I want to put this on time lapse so you can see how it goes.
done with the rocks. Actually, the stones around the place. I believe these are called chop stones. So this this area right here had been done, and the rocks had all been the stones had all been aligned properly. And uh, this is where I had kind of broken up the stones and just laid them out all along here and around. And so this is what I just did today. Looks pretty good. I think it's a good distance away from the swing set. It uh, makes it a little easier to cut around here. I'll put some roundup on the edges here. Kill off the grass so that I don't have to edge and trim every week around the stone. And the lawnmower should be able to get in there. Looks pretty nice. I had to bring in some rocks and stones from some other areas, but uh, that's it for now. Signing off. So I've just finished this straight line across the back here. Of course, this is the fence here. This is the back of our yard here, the east side of the yard. And uh, I was debating how I wanted to do this. I didn't know if I wanted to put some curves or bumps in the design, but ultimately I decided to go straight and then go into these curves that'll come around here. So, as usual, uh, it's difficult to make a straight line, so I use this hose here as a guide. It's not perfect, but uh, the idea is not to be perfect because it is landscaping and it's supposed to be a little natural. It is pretty straight. But as I put the rocks in, the stones in, I uh, always find this where I compress it. When I fit them closer together, I end up coming up short. So as you can see, I'm short about five or six stones down here, but uh, I may pick them up as I do the turn up here where I'll make the turn a little tighter, hopefully. Pick up some extra stones as I round this corner out and go around this tree and then up the path. And then if I need to, I can take some stones out of the path that go up to the, the gate there. Plus I have this spot over here to do and I'll be possibly picking up some extra stones that I can use down there. So signing off for now, uh, I've got to put some ant killer down. Ant, fire ants are showing up as I pick up these stones that have been here for, I don't know, seven, eight months and need to take them out so I don't get bit. Okay, it's April 28th, 2020, and I've got uh, my trimmer out here, my hoe, 
uh, bug death and the little claw and I'm gonna put in the final pieces of stone here I've got stone here covered in dead grass that I sprayed with Roundup I've got some more that's been covered with grass and killed off with Roundup so I'm gonna use the trimmer to get this grass out of here and I'm probably gonna take this line a little shallower here so it's less concave and I can get the the mower around here a little easier. I found that when I'm cutting in close here, it's it's tough because the mower's so long and doesn't make that turn so well. So I'm gonna make a shower scoop in here and I think it'll be a, a more, more pleasing shape ultimately and hopefully conserve on some of the stones that I had to borrow from here for the back landscaping that I did a few days ago that goes all the way up to Funsman. So. Without further ado, I'm going to fire up the, uh, the trimmer, trim out this dead stuff, and uh, get at it. So I'm going to do a time lapse going forward now. See you later. 